Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Mystic Wolf and welcome back to another YouTube video. I know it's been quite a while since I've made anything on my channel, about two months now. You know, I, I look a little cleaned up now, you know what I'm saying? Back in my room as usual. Um, I was just kind of doing a lot of shit with college. As you guys know, I'm trying to graduate from Virginia State University being a graphic designer and I got a few more semesters left. And I just wanted to take a break from content creation or just creation in general, just kind of have a little bit of time to just spend time with family, friends, go out, adventure, do experience things. And speaking of adventure, recently I kind of, you know, what inspired this video, I actually went to uh, Tyler the Creator's golf wing store uh, in New York, uh, literally yesterday at the time I'm recording, December 21st. I really wanted to just talk about what I got, what I bought, the experience. If you guys don't know who Tyler the Creator is, do your fucking research. Like literally I went to his concert earlier this year. So if you guys wanna check out that vlog, I'll literally leave it on a timestamp or I'll leave it in one of the cards up here. You guys will find me. But he had a big opening, Jasper was there. Unfortunately I wasn't there because I had to go to fucking school. But hey, that's in the past now, right? I got to see him, that's fine. But for the people who did get to see him and took pictures of him, you guys know who you are. I'm fucking jealous and I can all suck my dick. So I get there, I leave my house around, I wanna say the early afternoon yesterday. And I took two trains to get there because the store is kind of far from where I'm at. You know, it's all the way in Manhattan. So I get to the store um, and you know, when I up in there, you know, there's like a little security guard, he opens the door and the space is in the, in the, in the actual store is pretty uh, spacious. The store is like, you know, kind of like a come down, come up, you know, type of thing. It's not really, again, like too big, not too long, you know. So it's pretty compact as far as space is concerned. So I decided to go there. The music that they play at the store, fantastic. Literally, they're playing most stuff. They're playing Outkast. They're playing a few other songs as well, too, that I really love. And so the music taste there is exquisite fuego. That's number one. Two, I like that there's like a little sitting area around the middle of the store, too. So you can, that way you can sit, just like wait around, just, you know, kind of scan, see what the store has to offer. If you don't want to do all that, you know, that walking and stuff, so which is really appreciated. And they have like this nice little mirror on the right hand. I, that's at the left hand. Uh, the right hand is like, this is my right, this is my left. I'm sorry, the video is gonna look a little weird, but um, there's like this big mirror that you can like look at, you know, if you wanna like look at what you bought or you know, you wanna like, you know, ch check you out, you know what I'm saying? So it has like a little mirror at the side side, it was really cool. And then, you know, there was like a little, uh, the cashier, of course, you know, and all that. So, the clothes there were fire, obviously. I mean, if you guys have known about Tyler's brand at this point and actually went to his website, you know, all the stuff, uh, that you come to expect it, they're there you know what I'm saying all the vests all the the cargos the shirts the sweaters the, the the bikes all that stuff is all on the store ready for accounted for anyway um I guess I have some gripes before I show you guys what I actually bought I'm actually wearing what I bought at the store yesterday but a few gripes at the store one there was a security guard I was touching one of the display items of uh, the, the sweaters at there and they told me that I couldn't touch it um, because you know of course like it's for display and i wish they had like a sign or a security guard at the front told me that oh you can't touch one of the items da, 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 da. so i wish the instructions were a bit clearer but i was trying to uh try on one of the i was trying but i was trying to look at one of the sweaters see like the front and look at the back i was trying to like you know scan like what the sweater the sweater was looking like because it was folded and uh, the security guard literally told me like I had to put it down. I could not touch one of the folded or display items, and I had to go and ask an employee if they want, if I wanted to see what the what the clothes looked like and stuff like that. So I was like, yeah, I wish they had a sign there. Two, uh, they don't show the price tags um, at all. So you have to always constantly bug an employee. How much is this? How much is that? How much is this? How much is that? So I wish they had like price tags or a little like you know tags is like show like which. Uh, what, how much the shirt, how much does the socks, how much is the, the earrings and such like that. So I wish they had the price tags there. And then number three, because people kind of dress kind of like alike, you guys know, you know, Tyler Critters, I guess fan base, they have like a little cult to where they kind of dress similarly, like with the cargos, you know, Doc Martens and you know, the, the, the graphic t-shirts and the sweaters, you know, they have a unique sense of clothing. So everyone kind of blended in when I was at the store. So I didn't really know who was an employee and who was a customer. So I wish they had like, maybe like some uniforms to kind of like distinctly know who's who. So that was a little confusing at first, but you know, outside of that, it was a pleasant experience. I kind of liked, you know, being at the store. Again, the music was fired, the employees, were pretty uh, chill for the most part as well too. And you know, everybody just seemed like they were just having fun. They were just, you know, uh, very like-minded people. So that was my store experience. Now let's actually get on to the merchandise. Let's actually the stuff that I bought here. So I will leave like a little video of, I guess me like wearing the shirt that I'm wearing right now. But this is the golf boy shirt. 
Uh, if you guys, you guys are familiar with the Golf Boy shirt at this point, you know, it has the um, Save the Bees uh, uh, graphic on the back. I kind of wish the Save the Bees graphic was on the front instead of the back, but it is what it is. You know, it has like a little like, Flower Boy symbol, us uh, symbol. I, um, the logo right here, and then of course the, uh, the graphic is on the back. I like this shirt, you know, it feels really nice. The fabric here feels really nice. I got this out of large. I wanted a, uh, a, a XL, but they didn't have XL. Also, and <laughs> shout out to the, you know what I'm saying? Um, another thing that I got at the store was this nice little lighter. Cause I, I wanted a lighter, you know what I'm saying? Cause Brent Fias has said in the interviews, every man need a lighter on him. It's some shit like, I don't even care if you stranded in the wilderness, you gotta start a fire. Oh shit, what I'm gonna do? Got a light on you, good. You see Shorty, she's struggling to smoke. I can't find my lighter, you gotta pull up like that. Shit, I got you like that. I'm not a smoker. I'm not endorsing smoking at all, but I'm just saying every grown man should have a lighter in case of emergency. So I wanted to get this lighter. This was about, I want to say five dollars at the store. I can't really remember how what the price was. Oh, and the shirt was forty dollars plus tax. Uh, so you know, I had got this. I wanted to get it. You know, had to get a few accessories there. And then I also got these nice little socks as well too uh, from the store. I know you can barely see that shit, um, but they had like two pairs of socks there that I really wanted to get. These were like fifteen dollars. Um, there were other sets of socks, but they kind of, I think it came out with a six or a four pack and they were pretty expensive. They were like $35 and those were the socks I really wanted because they had like the graphics and stuff. They had, like, they were nicely designed socks and you know, I'm not a sock person, but you know, I, I'm trying to get into my sock game, you feel me? But anyway, uh, these were the, the other basic ones were about $15. So I was like, you know what, whatever. I kind of wanted to get a black sock. So the only things I really got, um, I didn't bought these, but these kind of came in the bag um, was again, the little address to the store if you guys want to get there if you guys live in the new york area if you guys want to go to the store and then also this little sticker you know if you want to place it on your your xbox or playstation your laptop or whatever if you want to stamp it there you know they'll give you complimentary stickers for free that that comes in the uh in the bag when if whenever you uh, decide to purchase anything so about like total i kind of spent about like 60 dollars there about 60 to 50 dollars there again plus the tax so um you know again socks shirt and then this little lighter that I got. So those are really it. That's really what I I, I bought there. Um, and then you know I just kind of left, came back home, and then you know just you know decided this, 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 yeah. <laughs> so if you live in the New York area and you guys want to get these, I would say go for it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I these are it's a nice convenient way to just get their apparel without having to sh uh, shop online. So pretty convenient. But uh, that's it for me. You know, if you guys uh, have gone to the store or have similar experiences, let me guys know in the comment section below. What did you guys buy? A sweater? Did you guys buy a soccer ball? Did you guys buy some socks? Did you buy a lighter? Whatever. Let me guys know what kind of apparel or merchandise did you get from the store. And also, you know, I recommend getting it. You know what I'm saying? This is the address. If you guys want to pause it, get it, you know, go there, experience it. So, yeah, that's it for me. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, with another video, which will be coming very soon. I got my top 50s and then my top 15 albums of this year. So be instant prepared for that. And I got a little reflection video for y'all. So you know, look out for that. But that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.